Hello my lovelies, today we have got a haul video and somebody needs to take my bank card off me. <laughs> so I have a slightly big pile of puzzles here. I'll let you know what I got off eBay, Amazon and as it was recently my birthday, off birthday. So, we may do this in multiple parts, so just in case, here's part one. So, I'm going to have to let the cat in. Urgh. Actually, I think the cat stopped. Good. So. Let's start off with oh, Wentworth. This is off eBay. I managed to get this off the British Heart Foundation eBay shop for an absolute steal. 300. I am going to have to get the cat. I'll just let the cat in. There is the potential that there could be a third end firing. But anyway. Um, yeah. I managed to get this off the British Heart Foundation eBay shop for an absolute steal. 300 piece from uh, Castle Drago in Devon. Apparently this is the floor. It has been an absolute beast to do. I have done a video, I haven't edited it or uploaded it yet, obviously. But if you follow me on Instagram, link down below, you'll be able to see um, my progress and what it looks like finished. But just to give you an idea in these pieces. So proper there we go. Like snowflakes. Looks an absolute beast to do. And I looked online to see if I could find anything about this puzzle. Not a thing. It's like it doesn't exist. So maybe it's cursed, and that's why it was such a nightmare to do. But I'm gonna be loaning that out to my mum. And then I'm going to look at it back. <laughs> Next. Oh yeah, that's 300 piece if I didn't say. Oh yeah, I'm also going to try and keep count. I have my counter. It's actually officially a stitch counter. So that's one. Kitty, can you give me a little bit of space? I'll admire you from afar, okay? Okay. Love you for a ball. Anyway. Next we have this beautiful like mountain ocean scene thingy by uh, Clem and Tony. Quick glance, does this tell us anything about where it is? Made in Italy. Yes, uh, Barris Lake. I may be saying that completely wrong because I'm dyslexic. But looking forward to doing that. Again, I got a really good price. Ooh. Ooh. Next year I'm actually really quite chuffed with how little I paid for them. I'm not sure if this one's actually been opened yet, but I have area wear um, black and grey 500 A um, variant, gradient, whatever you want to call it. And this one by area wear. Pattern puzzle. Now, I know that this one's definitely been pre opened because I did actually open it up and have a look. The annoying thing is, when I opened it up, the bag looked sealed, so I lifted up the bag and pieces went like everywhere. <laughs> so, lessons have been learned to be more careful next time. Brings us up to four. Really looking forward to giving those a go. Not gonna lie, a little intimidated by the gradient. That one I can see being quite difficult. If I haven't already said these all off eBay so far. Like this one. By this. Yeah. And um, by Cubic Fun. 
brand new, never opened. Go the buttons, I'm absolutely thrilled about that one. And I can't wait to do it. I can see it growing up into my little girl's room because she's currently absolutely obsessed with space. I got this. I put tape over like identifying points, like where it says uh, British birds, Marks and Spencer. They just put tape over it. I don't know why. They even did it on the back in the pen. It was like, okay, whatever. It was cheap, and that's the main thing. Because I is currently poor. So, we save money where we can. And this is another puzzle that hasn't been done before. I, I don't know if it ever actually had cellophane on it, but um... Oh, I think I may have just realised puzzle I forgot to bring up. Oh no, I, did. I think I did. Um, yeah, it might not have cellophane on the outside, but the puzzle inside is still in the original bag. I'm possibly going to hate myself when I open this. Oh yeah. Uh, 500 random number, 500 for the birdie, random number for space shuttle, 500 for the two area where and this one is 500 as well. Uh, which I'm probably going to be very grateful of when I start to try and do it. Next. This is one that I got in a job lot. You know one of those where you get like a ton dirt cheap, it's really only like one or two or three that you're really interested in. But the price is still so low, you don't mind. So, six Z-Bun. Um, don't know if I'll actually do this one myself, but I got it nice and cheap in the job lot. So I'm not overly mad. And that one is a thousand piece. I think a thousand pieces might be a bit much for a, few, for a puzzle that I'm like, meh. I might keep it as like a rainy day if there's like nothing calling to me and I just want to do a puzzle. This is another one that I got in the same job lot. I might do it just to practice doing like solid colours because that sky is going to be a bloody nightmare. Like, I don't think it's quite nice. It's not entirely me. Again it's another thousand. Then... This came in the same job lot again. My mum has already told me that she wants to do it, so I might just let her. I probably will let her. I'm trying to get my little girl's attention to get us to look at it, see what she thinks. But that's proven to be a little difficult. This is a thousand piece. Castola land puzzle. I can't say I've ever heard of him, but apparently they do it to 4,000 pieces. Okay, and this is off the same job lot again. Uh, another thousand piece from Marks and Spencers. And unopened again. I've never actually done a Mark Spencer's puzzle, so I don't know if I'll like it or not. I'm a bit meh about the picture. I don't hate it, but I don't adore it, so it could be a while till that gets done. This is one of the ones that I did actually really want out of the job lot. A thousand piece. Gold multicolored, never been opened. D C B A H G F E. No idea. But the fact that the box is a bit damaged does make me a little concerned about the quality of the pieces. Mind you, that damage should actually happen after it got here. So I'm gonna give this all that one. We probably it does make me wonder if the pieces themselves are going to be a bit weak and floppy. Oops, I mean, I just realised I've gone to tap that at least twice. Okay. 
why I'll do this one because this is part of the same job. Like that. I thought this one would be fun. And actually quite fun for like when my old relatives come to visit. Brands that built Britain. It's like the full picture on the back. And just at a quick glance, there's a few I do recognise, like Bird's Custard. Like the packaging I don't recognise, but overly recognise, but the brand I recognise. Uh, Scott's Porridge Oats. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Can I spot any others that's like jumping out? Oh, Cadbury's! Good old Cadbury's. So yeah, it'd be quite fun to see what brands that I do know that are still going slash went out of business during my lifetime. Oh, like Oxo, Bisto, Heinz. Okay, I'm gonna stop looking. And of course for older relatives, that's gonna be like a bit of a nostalgia trip. And that's a thousand pieces. I do think that one is actually going to be quite fun to do. And the others from that job that I can reach. Yeah. Okay, this is another one from the same lot that was sealed. Just some horses. Look a bit painted that got turned into. Um, oh Jesus. Okay, the dude that did it. He was born in 1973 and suffered at the age of 15 a serious accident that left him paralysed from the neck down. He started painting in 93 and has participated in several art exhibitions throughout Europe. Well done. Just goes to show. Oh, foot mouth painting artists. What says on the side? It just goes to show that uh, just because things ain't gone how you wanted it, it's not the end of the world. You know, proper when life gives you lemons situation. I know, tweed. But that's another thousand piece one. This one also came in. I'm actually even more wanting to do that horse one after discovering that one, because good on him. Um, Miller's Antique Jigsaw Puzzles. Miller's is like an auction house. And on the back, it's got the individual pieces lined up for you with like facts about them. Or like estimated price at point of publication. The price could have gone way up, way down since. So I do think that one could be a bit fun, potentially really challenging with all the blue and white. And cat, if you bounce at that camera. Good girl. Yeah, I think that's about to be all from that lot, at least all that I can reach right now. Still on the eBay. Um, I actually saw this Harry Potter by Clementoni, and I was like, I don't really get why it's called Impossible. A pain in the butt, yeah, a bit impossible. No. Um, I remember seeing it online. Thinking, oh, I'd quite like to give it a go. And then I saw it going cheap. Goes again. It is po. So. So saving the pennies where I can. And I'm a sucker for a was jig. Uh, looks like this is a classic. Yeah. What do they see one? I think that one's going to be fun to do. A thousand pieces again. And I also got... Oh, it's number 12 in the original puzzle series. This is number 5 from the original packaging as well. Which... Yep, this is another... Uh, see what they see. the art style as well as the intrigue and the puzzle of not actually knowing what it's going to be. 
This is a Destiny one. I think I may actually have this one at my grand's. Back from when I used to live there. Pretty sure I've already done this one before. Um, it jumps forward like 50 years. Okay, it's actually probably more than that because that's a little Victorian in it. Yeah, it jumps forward. So that's a Destiny number three. Though, got Destiny number nine. Which again should be full. And now I do actually have this. This oh yeah, those ones were oh sugar. I keep forgetting to add on. Those ones were all. Thousand. This one's five hundred. I actually have this as a thousand. Um, this came in a job that has I ended up with two. In well, technically two, but also one of each size. It's even uh, from a different time because it's got very different packaging. So I'm thinking about doing it, doing five hundred and a thousand in a video and comparing the two. Let me know what you think about that idea. Um, but yeah. This is a one of the what they see ones. We're up to twenty two puzzles, roughly. And this is number one, the very first Wozniak, Wozniak, however you want to pronounce it. And it's uh, what it does. That cyclist C. Again, I think that might actually be one that I have at my grand's. And if it is, I got it as a thousand piece. Now this one was a Jubilee special. I'm guessing for the previous Jubilee. Can I actually see anything quickly to tell me? No. And you never know, some people are really fast at doing puzzles. It is actually two and one. What does that say? Oh! Oh! Puzzles included box, image, and solution. So you've actually got that as the puzzle for once. That's cool! Okay, I actually appreciate that one. That one's gonna be fun. Okay. So that's all of them that I can reach at the moment. Got this lovely skyline from um, Clementoni. It's New York, is it? Oh, I just noticed that my little daughter has been sweet enough to scribble on it. Because it's what she does. Yeah, New York, what's that? It's a thousand pieces. Only things I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do them because they are um, a bit longer than the average thousand so that's gonna make it a little tricky ha recording stop be interested to see how long it was okay uh, this is another one I got off eBay the gold crypt by Ravensburger which is still in its cellophane I should get for like half the retail price, which I'm thrilled about. Because I do want to give it a go. But I have actually ordered, and it will appear in the next whole video, the um, Gradient Crypt, and I want to do that one first. So that's going to be good practice. And I've got um, the bridges over the Thames Square. Thames Square. The Thames. I'm so with it. By Ravensburger again. Anyway, what I'm thinking about doing is like calling uh, Ravensburger like your base level puzzle quality. Because at least in the UK they do seem to be like the biggest puzzle company that you can get hold of, with the biggest range. 
So if we use that as like the base in quality, then that make life easier. Okay. Next! I'm actually gonna have to work through my pile of what I bought soon so then I can get back to what I got on eBay. Okay, I got this dolphin. Oh, sorry, cat. This lion. And this Eeyore. Or as a job lot. As you can see, it's uh, little pictures to make up a big picture. I did actually open up and have a look at the layered. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to refer to the box. It's going to be a nightmare to do. Like, slightly regretting life choices, but I think it was actually going to be the worst. Have a look at this zoomed out bit. You're really not going to be able to use the box for much of a hint. So slightly regretting liar choices with Mr. E. Or. Um, and I'm running out of places to put these down, so I may have to stop and just move stuff. Next, I have oh this I bought, Ways by Carlsberry. And by the time this comes out, it should have come up on YouTube because it's um, currently waiting. So I want to try and stick to about a four day upload schedule. So this one is done and will be up tomorrow for me. Like I say, it should already be up for you. And this one is the first in my subscriptions. Right, the Carl's Bear um, Waves is a thousand, this one's 500. And it's a 3D effect. Say that somewhere, don't it? Oh. Oh, it, it did on the cellophane, which I've taken off. But yeah, you get some 3D glasses, and just looking at the poster, it's not like a full on in your face jump out 3D effect, but it's definitely 3D. Really. Really looking forward to giving that a go. I'm curious to see as how much other pain the 3D is when you're working on it, or if you even really notice it. So when you have like a quick look at puzzles, at the puzzle pieces. So I am definitely looking forward to that one. And bird brain. I think this one's going to be quite hard to do, but also quite fun. I love it. I love the flamingos. I think it's so quirky. Is this a thousand pieces? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually really heavy. Way heavier than most puzzles. Oh, this is one that I actually treated myself to for my birthday. Because, yeah, I bought myself some birthday presents. I do. Um, hummingbirds and butterflies. I just love all the colours. Because people seem to think I like black because I wear a lot of dark colours, but I actually really like colour a lot. I just think that's beautiful. This is 500 pieces by Corner Piece. Who are you, boy? A recess. And I'm sorry if I keep forgetting to name the companies. If there's any specifically you want to know about, let me know. Oh, and I'm... Um, come back to that one in a little bit. I'm definitely starting to get into my gradients. Uh, 500 by Clementoni. I just love the fact that it's not like your standard gradient. You've got all the swirly swirls. I don't know if that's going to make it harder or easier to do, but I think it's so pretty. Then on, I also have, again by Clementoni, another gradient. You know what, it'd be lovely if this was actually a photograph, as opposed to computer generated, but it's probably computer generated. So pretty though. Either way, it took ages for someone to do. 
by editing software I can do it a lot for you without you having to like go in and do it individually these days, but that's still gonna take a lot of work. Um you know, also treat myself too. It's beautiful poison balls by Ravensburger. I saw this one on YouTube. I can't remember the name of the channel now, I'm afraid. Sorry. Uh, I thought it looked lovely when he did it, so I'm like, I need to do that. So as I had a little bit of money, I went out and got Because I'm a child who has impulse control issues. Who also keeps forgetting to uh, tap on. When I'm editing this, I may also try and remember to do another um, total and see if, I, if my phone is anywhere near close. We'll see. No guarantees, because it's not easy to get anything done with the kiddies. Anyway, um, I also treat myself to this. I've seen this done by loads of different companies, and this one, to be perfectly honest, was like the cheapest one they had. Because like, I didn't know if I'd get on with the fact that it's round, the grading aspect, and the monies. So I thought I'll just go for like the cheapest one, see what I think. And weirdly enough, um, Puzzles by Juby. She showed her puzzle collection, and she has actually got this. And it turns out that it's um, the back of the pieces are marked. And I didn't know that, so after she showed that, I'm like, I opened it up just to see if mine was too near. So we'll see if I'll do it just off the colour or if I'll do it off the back. Let's see. Maybe I'll even do like um, half of it with the numbers, half of it with the colour. Oh, this one might become my editing puzzle, one that I just do when I'm editing. Oh, that was a thousand pieces. Um, because that's basically an impossible puzzle, isn't it? Just swirly aloe vera. And this is one that I treated myself to for my birthday. Because apparently I hate myself a bit. I think it's beautiful. I think it's going to be lovely when it's finished. And it's a thousand pieces as well, which is make it even more of a pain in the butt. But I think that's going to be an absolute nightmare to do. But that's the point I'm going to do. But like I say, it's probably going to turn into like an editing piece. So I don't do like a time lapse on it. I might do like uh, every time that I get a piece together, like click, take a picture. Another piece together, click, take a picture. I might. Don't hold me to it. Do, 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 do. Then I think this was turkey, my dad said. My geography sucks, so yeah. I'll take his word for it. They're selling this and another one at Asda for just two fifty, and I'm like, oh, rude not to. Thousand piece puzzle for two fifty. <laughs> Thank y'all. Took it brand new, nothing wrong. Like I said, beautiful view. He says it's turkey. I will take his word for it. Feel free to correct me in the comments because I don't know. Um, this next one. As you may or may not know, but currently at this time, at this point in time, my channel name is Clumsy Stitcher. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. Um, I have been a stitcher, cross stitcher for a long time, and this has been um, something that I've thought of stitching because Heaven and Earth Designs have actually got this as a cross stitch pattern. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Oh. There's so many different parts of this I absolutely adore. But now I can do the picture in like two days instead of like 20 years. I don't even want to think how long it would take me to stitch this. I mean, apart from forever. So I'm actually quite happy that I get to miss out on the time. Oh, this is uh, another one that I got for 250. Like Fever of Wands. to France once when I was like, two to Disneyland. Sad thing is I can barely remember it because I was a little too young. My, oh, the really sad thing is my clearest memory of Disneyland is we stayed in a chalet 
and they had a gas oven and I had never seen blue flame before. My clearest memory is the flame of the oven. You know, not the Disney parade, not the rides, the flame. Go child brain. Oh well, I'll just have to take care uh, of my little kitties there at some point. Ooh, I wonder how much that would cost, roughly. How long do I need to save up for it? Hmm, that could be good. I know, like my video so my kids can go to Disneyland. <laughs> Subscribe so my kids can go to Disney. <laughs> anyway, childishness aside. Um, hopefully you have seen this video. If not, go back and watch it. Um, Elena Essex. I absolutely adored this. I just need to get some um, frame pins up, uh, pitch frame hooks up, so that then I can hang it up, so that my kiddos can look at it. Because I know that my little girl's going to adore it. She's probably going to drive me insane within a half an hour. Going red, orange, green, blue, and then she's got a load of colours: tiger, rawr, lion. Ra, bear, ra. <laughs> Which sounds so cute at first, but after a couple of hours of it, it's like, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's going to annoy me a little bit once it's up, but it's worth it because it's going to help her with her pronunciation since she presses counting as well. It's going to be delightful. Okay, I think I can just about reach these. Because I'm like sat on my bed, like one end of my bed, and the puzzles are at the other end. So, um. Oh, we're up to at least 50, by the way. This is one I got off of eBay. The 100 piece uh, pink and blue gradient, which I'm thrilled to have gotten. And it's unopened. Which I'm double thrilled about. Because, like, if you've seen Karen Puzzle's videos, this one has been featured well, the 500 piece. She didn't actually finish it because the bottom is just all the same colour. Which obviously won't be as annoying as 100 pieces. Hence why I was ecstatic to get it as 100 pieces. <sighs> Next, Richie Richie. Oh, by the way, I really did get all these in February. So, I need to five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now, um, I managed to get this uh, box set of ten puzzles, I think it is. All different. Well, they're either a thousand, seven hundred and fifty, or five hundred piece puzzles. And I had a look on the back, found the name of the com company that made it. Um, Puzzle Professor. It would appear that you can't buy directly from them. You probably, I'm sh assuming that you can if you're a retailer, but your average punter, no. Um, anyway, I had a look on the website. That's something that I found. What's this? If it will focus. There we go. So, got Alice in, uh, Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland, and the Jungle Book. Take out the jungle book. Of course, it goes to pot. It's done. It's not like a book. This will focus. See the pages there? Sort of. Um, book spine, they're just uh, 252 pieces. The puzzle itself is the front cover of the book and a page from the side on the back. I didn't realise that until I actually had these in my sticky hands. You know, it's not like it says it on there or anything, like everywhere, but genius moment. I didn't realise until I actually had it in my hands. So yeah, that's the Jungle Book. Wizard of Oz. I don't know if these were ever actually official covers or if they were done for Puzzle Library, as they call this series. And Alice in Wonderland. 
I actually have some more, which I do have. Oh yeah, I got so uh, these of Amazon. These next two I got from W H Smith. Got Pride and Prejudice. And Romeo and Juliet. And there is a few more that I haven't got yet, but I'm planning to because I think these are awesome. I love them. And I'm not going to stick them together because I think it'll be good for the kiddos to do in a few years' time. So, it's more eBay. I have. This and the next three all came from the same job lot, the same big job lot from before. Loads of different mushrooms, and at the bottom, no, teeny tiny writing is that the names of them. Santa's workshop because I need some Christmas ones for the kiddies. That's 500? No, a thousand. So both of those are a thousand. The next two are a thousand. Unopened uh, Christmas shopping street. Oh, Christmas street scene, I call it. And I probably want to do this. Apparently that's from um, a boarding school. It's just not my thing. Unopened and it just came with a puzzle set. I got this with um, the rocket one. Already put it together. And the video didn't go to plan. Because only like half the making is there. So I'm thinking I'm putting that one with the space one in one video together. Yeah. Next. This is a birthday present. Got the solar system. 500 piece. To be honest, this is as much for me as it is for my little girl because she's two years old and can name the planets. Because she's a show off. And I got this with some birthday money. Come on, focus, there we go. Red Keep 3D puzzle. I think this is potentially going to be a bit of a nightmare to do. But it's complexity of six stars. I don't know what the highest rating is, so I. I don't know if that's like 6 out of 10 or whatever. Um, they reckon it'll take about 3 hours to do. Definitely going to time it. See if I can do it quicker. Really looking forward to doing it. Um, this is one that my mum got me. From a birthday. And yep, puzzle is shaped like a tiger head. So it's going to be interesting to see how much of a pain that's going to be. And it's 600 pieces. So I think that one's going to be potentially very frustrating, but also really rather fun. And it's quite a gorgeous picture. Um, got my very first 2000 piece, Jigisaw. So far, the biggest I've ever done is a thousand. This has got five butterflies hidden in the image. I have found them all already. We're on about 65 puzzles, by the way. Uh, just because these are closest to me, good old eBay. Medieval Castle. I actually almost bought this retail. But I got it dirt cheap. Buy a corner piece, 500 piece. Cool. To be honest, it makes me think of Hogwarts. That's sort of what I'd imagine Hogwarts looking a bit like if I hadn't seen the film. And I've also got this 3D puzzle illusion, which I got for a penny. 
And both those are 500 pieces. Whew, it's getting hot in here. Oh, unopened and off eBay is this metallic effect wall. I don't know how worried I should be about the metallic effect. It's a thousand pieces. Don't know if that's going to be a help or a real pain in the butt. So place your bets. And these next three, all of eBay again. Two out of three of them still have the cellophane on. Got the Disney princesses. For my little girl, and for my inner little girl as well. I um, these three are all by um, Clint Tony. Disney villains. And got the Disney orchestra. I think it's so cool. Probably would love to do the really big one, but I don't have the space. Plus, my dear little darlings, um, if I'm doing a puzzle, I need to get it done as fast as I can because they have both two pieces. So, Ooh, this is one that I got for my birthday, which I don't know, yeah. Can sort of see it, it's foil. It's gonna be interesting to see what this is like in actual person. It is nice, I wouldn't say no to getting a few more because if they have got a few more in the range, not that is not going to be even vaguely stable. Let's pop it there. Oh, now, um, they've done three like this. If it'll Ever focus, come on. There we go. Um, I've done one of them. They've got the Hogwarts Express, Diagon Alley, which I've got, and the Hogwarts Castle, which would be the nicest if it didn't have this random splodge of foil which ruins the whole thing. It looks awful. Just so sad because if they hadn't put it there with how they had the foil everywhere else, it would have been the best. Apparently no one did part control. No, someone clearly just stuck it through a program and was like, yeah, that'll do. No one actually looked at it. It's such a shame. But I'm really looking forward to doing this. It's only got like 300 pieces, isn't it? Somewhere? Yeah, 300 pieces. So it shouldn't take too long, but I do think this is potentially going to be harder than Diagon Alley. Which, like I said, came out beautiful. I love it. Um, these next four I got from a charity shop. Got it's base for anyone in particular, doesn't seem to be. Nope. I have a murder mystery puzzle. I can't wait to do. An Inspector Cross. A uh, mis uh, yeah, mystery puzzle. I'm looking forward to that one. But, 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 I also got a Death in Paradise murder mystery puzzle. I haven't actually looked inside the box of the first one, but I've had a quick look inside of the box of this one. It's got the story and the solution. So and I've just realised it also has my dog's breakfast on it. So I get for not paying enough attention. Um, so yeah. I have to hope the pieces are all there, which I hope they are. Oh, I've got this one purely for the silly, I think it's a pound. A um, hundred chickens and a worm. I'm guessing that the worm is either under here or under here, because I've had a quick look and I can't see it anyway. But yeah, it was a pound and it's silly. But I did also get this from another charity shop. I put it together, it was slightly damaged, but not too badly. And I loved it. And I do have a video coming. 
if you want to see what he looks like, check out my Instagram. The only annoying thing is, because of it's so big, um, in my bedroom I had three Billy bookcases. One here, two there. It's on the top of them. Because it's pretty much the only place I have that I can put it without the kids or the cat getting at it. So, no. Life is small, Jerry. Um, eBay. I managed to get this. Another area where unopened. But I do think it's going to be an absolute nightmare to do. So I'm not sure when I'll get around to doing that one. Oh, yeah, I think it's a bit of fun. Managed to get one, two, three, four, and five little vintage puzzles. I haven't actually had a chance to open them up and have a look inside yet. It's on the good old to do list, but I am looking forward to finding out what these are like. Because, like, just doing that's as far as I've gotten. No, quite big pieces. But then again, they are aimed at the kitty wink, so you can expect them to be. Next, and this is not going back down into my living room. Because I'm so programmed by advertisement every time that I've seen this box, which looks exactly like a box of roses, I keep thinking, ooh, I have chocolate. No, I don't. I just have a puzzle. There you go. They actually don't do the packaging for the individual wrapped chocolates like that anymore, so it's already out of date, in a way. But I think that's going to be a bit of silly fun. Ooh, just a difficult puzzle. This one, the puzzle is printed on the front and the back, but on the back it's turned 90 degrees. So, football scene. And this is. 529 pieces because why not random numbers? Ooh. Do you hope that this has got all the pieces? Taj Mahal. 3D Taj Mahal by Plus 3D. And to be honest, it's probably as close to the real thing I'm ever gonna get. So death I hope all the pieces are here. I don't think I've ever actually done a plus 3D. So that's gonna be fun to check out, see what it's like compared to uh, Ravensburger and uh, Cubic Fan because there's a two that I've done the most before. Well, there's a two I've done before. Then, because on some certain level, apparently I hate myself, I've got a 500 piece Smarties. I think that's probably going to be a bit of a nightmare. Well, they call it a sorted sweet, but that they look like Smarties to me. That's where we get to find out how patient I am. This one, it's uh, 250 pieces and it's a maze. Little focus. Got to get these guys down here up to do monies up here. And I've only had like, like, if you lift up this bit, got a better unobstructed view of what the maze looks like. And just had a quick look. I can solve it, so it's trickier than it looks. So kudos to them for that. Okay, one month. Also, I didn't even know the AA did jigsaws, but I have Gorgeous Sleepy Lion by the AA. I may have to keep an eye out for some of the other ones, like that birdie one. Focus. There we go, the bird of praise. I like your bird of praise. Um, I got some BBC Planet Earth jigsaws, which is three in one, so one, two, three. Could be a bit of fun. Aerial. Avadanga Delta. Uh, 
a waterfall and Mount Fuji. Katie, can you show me the Love Love Slater, please? I'm busy. Hmm? Where's your Love Love Slaters? Please. Pretty, please. Yeah. Do the Love Love Slater, yeah? Sit down there. That's a good girl. Then, I have another area where buy for you a piece. for an absolute steal. See, and I say retail are ridiculous. And now these two, I only actually have the lids because I got this one. I have finished it and the video is pending. Kitty. Thank you. Um, but I'm using the bottom for a puzzle that I'm currently doing, which happens. Oh yeah, I actually paid for this one. Like retail. And this one, which I got off eBay. Uh, Ravensburger um, fairy tale fantasy. I'm currently doing this one, and the bottom of the box is being used for pieces. So, hence why I only have half of those. Then I have five um, a thousand piece historical map by Marks and Spencers. I'm not really a mappy person, but you know, it caught my eye. I thought, why the hell not? Because let's face it, it might not hurt to learn some of these flags. Because you could put a flag up in front of me and ask me if it's real or not. And the other, I won't know. If I'm being brutally honest, I, I just wouldn't know. Zeesh. Just wait till you see this number. Then, 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 then. I have another 3D illusion. Now, I have actually spent a bit of time just staring at this and shapes did start to emerge nothing like very descript but there was definitely something this is probably going to be an absolute headache to do it's only 500 pieces so that will help with my frustration that it won't take that long to do um and the last one which I only paid a penny for is this world's hardest puzzle I'm not sure what's supposed to make it the world's hardest puzzle because it don't look that bad to me I mean 500 pieces seems like 4,000 Master Edition by Buffalo Games so yeah, I'm gonna have to give that a go at some point so that brought us up to 99, and I'm not entirely sure as to how good a count I actually kept while doing this, so it could be an out a bit. <laughs> but yeah, I genuinely paid like £100 for all this, if that. Actually, definitely less than that. Because of bargains. Because I'm a sucker for a bargain. Um, So, now that you finish going, oh my god, how many? Um, is there any you'd like to see done up? If there is, either put the name or the timestamp. Actually, to be honest, putting the timestamp might be easy. Yes. <laughs> Slash which video, if this does end up being multiple videos, because I don't know yet. It might be. It might be a bit long for one. We'll see. Um, so yeah, let me know if there's any that you would like me to prioritise doing, any that you'd like more information on, because as much as I'll say that I'm going to um, put details down for each and every last one of them, no. No, I'm sorry, but no. That's a little, it's a little much. Hopefully I won't have such a big hole again and then I'll be able to do it. But no. Particularly as for a lot of them, I don't even know if they still do them. And it'd be like Amazon, so you'd go for a very different price when I got it. Because we can't look at it for a penny. Oh, after all that talk, my throat hurts. So, I'm gonna have to find a home for all these. My bedroom is now full of puzzles. 
which makes it look even worse as how many I have. Yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let me know which ones you'd like to see more of. Okay, happy puzzling everyone. Bye.